Hot Good time to start a video. Hot delicious groovy cock. <laughs> and we're no monetized if we had fucking shit like that. Oh well, who cares? Cock. <laughs> hey, he's just fucking he's dead. dead. Is the dominatrix alive or? I think I so. I really don't like that you're calling it the dominatrix. Dude, look at it. Wait for it. I saw it. Yeah, dude. You can't tell me that's not a latex mask it's wearing. <laughs> like... Oh. Oh, it's not there anymore. I'm gonna go this way. True fans of the last video will know what we're talking about. Yep. I'm gonna... <laughs> Only true fans can answer these questions. I'm gonna Google copy passes. I'm gonna read them. Okay. Do one more. You know, in terms of <laughs> human to Pokemon breeding is the most compatible. <laughs> I, d I just hate how in depth that goes. Of course that. Um. <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> That's a really good stowaway, though. Yeah. Uh, me... oh. Holy shit. I need six slots to be able to have that. Copy pastas. Let's go! You really gotta wash your back better. Why? There's a dead skin coming off while I'm massaging you. The FNAF movie should have had sex scenes in it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I read this? Go on. Why did I think this? Zero out of ten. This oh, movie... Not... This movie is... This movie is a disgrace and a travesty. We're, we're an adult audience, are we not? So where's all the sexual tension? It would have made the story so much more compelling. <laughs> this generation is so easily offended that we can't even have real cinema anymore. I came to see animatronics fucking. I won my animatronics fucking. <laughs> Where's Freddy? I can make two foot long cock and balls. When I first heard news that he would be in the FNAF movie, I was beyond excited to see my favourite porn franchise on the big screen. But what's the point of that when none of the animatronics even have penises? It what? defeats the whole purpose. Way to let everyone down, Bloomhouse. Why do you know the size of his penis? Comments! Bro, there's dead kids in those things. Next reply, even better! <laughs> Dude, Reddit is guffed. Reddit, Reddit is crazy. Guffed. Oh my god. I, I like animals and cryptids in brackets sexually. <laughs> um, it does. It does say a trigger warning on this one. Oh. Is there a trigger warning on the last one? No, there wasn't. All right. Um, I'm not gonna read that one then. Uh, security toilet ended my five year long relationship. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> Can someone please help me? I was just casually listening to my security toilet DJ Rails you ASMR. What? <laughs> X listen to one of my AirPods. I listen to those skibbity ASMRs for about eight hours per day on average. It's my guilty pleasure. I was casually doing my qu quotation mark things. I heard a couple of knocks before realizing my girlfriend came over. I forgot I called her over to have some steamy sex tonight. She burst through the door wide open in a beautiful half-naked dress, but in a fit of panic, I accidentally janked my pod set and had my speakers on full volume for her to hear. She could hear all the intenseful moans and skibbity edging that the audio was producing throughout the speakers. She looked at me with gaped open expression and, pe and pestered me on what I was watching. But how the fuck was I supposed to explain I was watching Skibbity Toilet DJ ASMR in an understandable manner? She was basically done with me, and I'm now sitting on her porch, bawling my eyes out as I'm typing this. I'm still in complete, utter disbelief at the horrible, fast-paced decisions that led me to getting kicked out of her house. Can somebody give me some help? What? I thought she was at your house. Yeah. What do you mean you invited your girlfriend over to have sex in your own house? Yeah, I know you live here, but I'm inviting you over to have some steamy sex. Mmm. The hot fucks. Mmm. Mmm. I love that. <gasps> I'm not in water. <laughs> no. This is the first time in this game that I haven't been in water since the start. Oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> the 
durability on the cardboard box. Jesus Christ. Is this is make reference? This is all it's make reference. The only disappointment is that there isn't the um I can't sound effect and stuff. Yeah. It's smoke screen. It's just looks like I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so this one. Mom grounded me because she thinks I'm gay because I come hard from Hitler porn. <laughs> What? This is so long! What do you mean? What is- what do you mean? What- what? What, do I read this? I don't know, do you? I don't really want to! I don't really want you to. Yeah, I'm not going to! Cause this all Pikachu in it? I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> what the fuck? Get the fuck out of there. That just sounds like a. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like I, a I am not sad. gonna. I am not gonna read that. That is just a misogynistic asshole. Just being misogynistic. So <laughs> nice spice. <laughs> That guy is a trigger on you. <laughs> oh, that guy sucks, but you know. What the fuck? What have you found? Oh my god, it's so long. Just what? Like my key. Dude. <laughs> I kind of, I'm, I'm gonna read this just because I can. Am I the arsehole for requesting my roommate not host the cars, the Pixar movie, themed orgy? Dude, I've got to read this. <laughs> I've got to read this. Sorry, you're having a cars <laughs> themed Dude, <orgy>. Sally, though. <laughs> no, it's a car. <laughs> the disappointment in your voice is immeasurable. Rylan, it is a car. Yeah, and? It's an animated Porsche. It's a dummy thick Porsche. It's animated Porsche. Porsche. All right, let me let, let, let me read these. All right, everyone at home, story time. Story time. <clears throat> Throw away account for obvious reasons. This is a long one, boys. So strap in. <laughs> Although this might sound in. like quite a fantastical story, I promise it is something I am actively dealing with and has effectively taken over my life for the past few days. This was posted 16 hours ago. <laughs> um, my roommate dis dis deceitfully planned an open invite orgy in our apartment and refuses to move it or cancel it. And I asked her for my response to the situation. To explain the setup of my house, we are five upperclassmen and college students living in a two-floor off-camp accommodation with three girls living on the first floor and me and another person living on the second. We all signed the lease together in which I am the primary signer and signed a roommate contract with all the basics about cleanliness and a proper, proper notice about parties and overnight guests, etc. The utilities are also shared evenly amongst all five of us, so there is essentially no difference between who lives on what floor as we all share everything. I like this house, and have resigned the lease for next year, and the other four housemates have decided to do other things for their housing next year. So to place together what I have learned over the past few days in this story, I'll be using fake names based on Cars TM characters for privacy. Oh no. <laughs> so we're gonna be- <laughs> Oh fuck. Oh no, it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> He's referring to the characters as we were with they were gonna play in you or G. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> About a month ago, on March 7th, I received a text message in the house group chat from Gren. <laughs> There's no way Got it. this is happening. Are you guys okay with me hosting an event at the end of the school year in this downstairs common space and possibly the basement, most likely right after classes end, and 20, 30-ish people? What? 20, 30 Dude! An average one's like 10! 10 to 15, and even 15 is like a lot. <laughs> just because I'm a car pushed the bang. As she had given up, it's a she. 
I was looking at this from a guy. <laughs> yep. And she had given us two months of notice and it was technically after the academic school year was coming to an end. We didn't have any issue and told her to go ahead with the party planning. On the 8th of March, the roommate of Mater. <laughs> Grams Co. Flanner was sent a PDF documenting containing the FAQ for something called the Car Extravaganza. <laughs> From Mater, and a few days later received the flyer for said event. A few days later, the scouting started. Graham and Mater would go out to parties and find people who invited them to this car extravaganza, and word started slowly spreading around campus by word of mouth and digital flyers. Other friends of mine have confirmed that they had been invited by Graham and Mater, or knew someone who was, and had either flat out turned them down or politely said maybe to move the conversation along, and if you were considering going. On the 25th of March, a close friend of mine, Doc, <laughs> Doc, finds out about it. I have to warn my mate not to watch this because he loves cars. Like, he genuinely loves the movie Cars, and this is going to ruin it for him. I can already tell. People ruin things. Um, finds out about this event from a friend, as his, who's invited to the event by Meta. Around the same time, another friend, McQueen, <laughs> was propositioned after going to an after party with someone after a frat party. After they found out she was both a freshman and not interested, the invite was revoked. Then April 1st arrived. I was hanging out with some friends in a common space on campus, and McQueen arrived to tell me a funny story of their previous weekend's shenanigans. And, of course, the orgy story was told. As Graham and I had been quite close friends in the past, I knew that an orgy was something she would totally be into, so I asked McQueen if they, are, if they had seen someone with her description at the after party and where she was invited. McQueen said yes, and although I wasn't shocked, I was surprised, so I pulled out a pic of my roommate to confirm it was the same person. She had seen, and to my horror, Queen said, "Oh yeah, that's her. She's the host." So I started asking more questions, <laughs> like as you do, <laughs> yeah, like where was it happening, and when to see if I had missed something. And all signs pointed to the event that was requested a month prior by Grem. An orgy was planned for my house in just a month without my informed consent, and I was extremely uncomfortable with the prospect. This is when Doc spoke up and mentioned he had heard about a cars themed orgy a week prior and was so shocked it was happening at my house. In a panic, I started asking all of my friends what they knew about the orgy, which is how I learned about all of the interactions listed previously. I even learned where there'd be a chocolate fountain and a sheet cake at the event. I don't know if I want to touch the chocolate fountain or the sheet cake. No. I also reached out to my other roommates who were ac actively lining in the house. Fillmore, the other upstairs dweller, did not pick up and Sally, who lived on the first floor, called me back a few minutes later to ask what was wrong. That's when I asked her if she knew about the cars thing and she gasped. She had just heard about it from someone asking her on an hour prior and if she knew about her roommate hosting an orgy. She had also thought it was just a joke, but she said she'd asked Graham about it and was then told the truth. Sally told me she told Graham to tell me and feel more, but Graham didn't believe it was necessary. Sally also asked Graham to ensure- I would like to point out, I feel so bad for this guy, because he now has to remember which names he assigned to who. <laughs> yep. Graham to ensure her personal space wouldn't be sullified and that she would be fine with the event happening if that could be ensured. Doc was able to reach out to his friend who was invited and got the flyer from him and that's when it solidified in my mind that this wasn't all another April Fool's joke. The flyer was- Another? Was, no, what was, was the first no, one? No, 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 sorry, my, my words are shitty. Um, it wasn't, um, like it wasn't all an elaborate, an elaborate. Oh. Sorry, uh, my, my words were a bit shitty there. Um, the fly wasn't at, was an affront to the eyes and quite honestly gave graphic design is my passion vibes. But nevertheless, it was real and it had a QR code that linked to a very detailed, old, biteless, slightly concerning FAQ re read only, read only word document. Wiki, you're missing out on the best things ever, buddy. Come on in. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till you come in and I'm gonna close the door because it actually hurts to listen to. <laughs> Best things. <laughs> am, I know. I'll read the title to you. Am I the Am I the asshole for requesting my roommate not host a Cars the Pixar movie themed orgy? <laughs> 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 
This hurts to listen to. <laughs> After receiving the flyer, I sent said flyer and a screenshot of Graham's messages from the 7th to the house group chat with the caption, Event, huh? Fillmore was <laughs> lit. Fillmore was learning about this for the first time through the, group chat, through the group chat, and although he was bothered by the lack of communication, he didn't really mind. Graham responded to the group chat with a lengthy message. Yup, it is indeed an event. I already cleared it with Sally and was meaning to with Bessie, but I haven't Bess. seen I haven't seen her at the house in quite some time. By the way, he's assigned the names of who they were going to be, or like just aforementioned names, so that there's no name dropping. So, this, so we've heard Fillmore, Mater, McQueen, Doc Hudson, Buddy, <laughs> Sally, all that shit. Um, this was planned. It won't be upstairs, it should not partially affect the upstairs people outside of general party things like music, talking, etc. I'm sorry for not being more transparent, but I did not want to involve Flo and Phil more into my sex life, as they have previously expressed discomfort around that. The Bessie in her message was our fifth roommate and the last resident of the first floor. She had not been in the house for at least the past four months for personal reasons, and it isn't important to the story. Honestly, cool. honestly, I was frustrated by her response and her nonchalant nature around the clear difference between a normal event and an event such as this. As a result, I called my mum. How adult. <laughs> In brackets, how adult. Yeah, he called his mum and explained to her the situation. Together we, <laughs> together we crafted a response. There's an expectation when living in a house with other people. Being transparent about your event is a, le is a level of respect for those that live in the house. It is not about involving us in your sex life. If you want to have an event party in the space that we all occupy, then you have to be upfront about it. Had I not seen the invite, there is a huge possibility that we would not have known about it, and that is an unfair and disrespectful. As people who live in this house, I am completely uncomfortable with you having this event, and I am asking you to have it at another, at another location. That's okay, a great enough. That, that's a great response. Thank you. That's a great response. <laughs> I would just went, what the fuck? No. Yeah. I was passed by with no response and I woke up at the next morning to a response from Graham that was sent around 2 a.m. I agree! <laughs> Which is why I asked if you were okay with me hosting an event with 20 to 30 people in case you had anything planned or were worried about noise. You said you didn't care, and I figured if you had no, n any questions about the event, you would ask. Now that, you ha now that you know people will be having sex, you are asking us to move it elsewhere? Given that who I have sex with isn't your concern, and the first floor is physically separate, including lockable doors, I don't see that there is a valid reason to relocate. I'm happy to answer any questions and do my best to accommodate any other concerns, though. There's a huge difference. Like... You actively said, hey, can I host an event for 20 to 30 people and didn't specify. When it comes to shit like this, you should really specify what the event is. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm the kind of guy who will say, yeah, sure, you can host an event. I won't actually press questions. Yeah. I'm the kind of guy who... That's all the information you yeah, need to know. Yeah. Now I'm going to be worried that if any of my friends say, hey, I'm going to host an event. Is it an orgy? Is it a gangbang? Yeah. Would you not just question that anyway? No, no. Cause I'm just no, because I'm just like no. Because you think they all signed an agreement. They all signed an agreement of like, and so they should be respectful and all that. So like, it was pretty much given. I like, question it. That's fair. Every time. That's valid. Fuck you, but you've got to keep it, dude. <laughs> you're gonna be like, you're gonna be the one be like, yeah, go ahead, and she's gonna be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on. <laughs> Will there be any of the? Sex. Was it of the sexual kind? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Was there any boinking? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Then you turn around. Oh, well, hold on now. <laughs> Will there be any of the? Would you call it boinking? Um, I assume. I assume that maybe what specifically about this situation made me uncomfortable wasn't quite clear to her. So I sent a response. I wish you clarified what type of event it was when you asked the house. Yet the notification felt like a live omission. I am uncomfortable with 20 to 30 people. By the way, 20 to 30. That's huge for orgy levels. You got like 10 to 15 average. And 15 is pushing. 20 to 30. What? Are there even. have like multiple. Are there even that many Cars characters? Yes. <laughs> Two of them are the fans. <laughs> oh god, yeah, true. They're the Asians who are going. <laughs> They're like flashing people. Yeah, I do. I do like that innuendo though in the movie. 
They're flashing McQueen. It of, took me so long to quite, get that. It's quite funny. It took me so long to get that. Um, what is one supposed to do? I ate too much chocolate and now I feel sick. Oh my god, there's so much. Chocolate or about the oi? The orgy. Yeah. Have some chocolate. Mm. Um. I I'm not gonna read the rest of it, but I'm pretty sure it's just them bickering back and forth. He, he's not the asshole though. Oh fuck. He's not the asshole. <laughs> not at all. I I I yeah. No, not the asshole. Anyway, another code master. I just shitted. <laughs> Wait, 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 before you keep going, have you, wait, is this your last video? This is the last one for this series, and then we gotta do, we gotta do a random one. Okay, I'm going for a shower then. Okay. okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please don't take that weirdly. <laughs> That's just a default take thing. Take it weirdly. Like, don't do that! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no. Uh... I don't know what I meant to do here. Anyway, I just shitted. Just sh hold on. So. <laughs> you did not just shitted. No. Next time? Next time. Next time. Ah! 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 Ah!